Hare Krishna. We are meditating on the 19 symbols of Krishna's lotus feet. Now we are meditating on the symbols on the right foot. We have already completed 16 symbols. And now it is the 17th one. And this 17th one is lotus or kamala. Now we always keep saying this that Krishna's lotus feet, lotus feet, lotus feet. Why do we say that? Because Krishna's feet are very very soft, very very beautiful. And in this material world, if we have to compare anything with Krishna's beauty, with Krishna's uh, lotus feet, I mean Krishna's feet softness. We don't have anything as such because how can any material thing be used to compare the transcendental personality? We don't have So what shastras do is the best of the best of the best entity from this material world is used so that we can understand with this comparison that how soft krishna's lotus feet might be how beautiful krishna's lotus feet might be therefore lotus is used just to make us understand oh this is how krishna's feet will be lotus feet therefore this lotus that is there a symbol it represents krishna's feet are very soft and very very beautiful therefore when krishna would go to the pasturing grounds in the daytime all the brajwasi especially the gopis they will always be in fear and they'll be lamenting oh now when krishna is walking is he stepping on that sharp stones or the sharp grass half eaten by the cows what would be the situation of krishna's lotus feet oh they are very soft they are very soft it might be hurting it might be hurting this would be the mood of the gopis why because the lotus feet are very soft so this is the first significance as soon as we see the lotus what we have to remember is krishna's feet are like lotus very very soft very very beautiful the next significance that is given in shastra is krishna never leaves vrindavan and vrindavan or rajbhumi is there in the form of a lotus beautiful lotus so krishna's feet never step out of lotus never step out of rajbhumi so this is the second significance the third one that is given in shastra is lotus it represents fortune with lakshmi devi holds lotus therefore any devotee who is meditating on the lotus feet and especially the lotus symbol on the feet that person becomes very very fortunate and successful here is the key for success what is that that key is meditate on the lotus feet of the lord especially the lotus symbol by chanting hari krishna maha mantra this is so wonderful in the outside world in the material world people keep talking about success success how to attain success but here is the key to success another very nice thing that is mentioned here is krishna's lotus feet especially his lotus symbol it contains nectar so lotus has nectar and now there are bees that come to drink that nectar and the bees when they drink that nectar they become even more greedy to drink more nectar and they remain in the lotus who are these bees these bees are the devotees so when the devotees meditate on the lotus feet of the lord especially the lotus symbol they act as bees and their greed increases to attain prema the nectar that is there in the lotus therefore this desire for attaining krishna prem is very very important when we meditate on the lotus of the lotus feet of the lord yes this greed will increase another thing that is mentioned here is This lotus is used by the Lord to give boons to his devotees. That's a known fact. So this lotus that is there as a symbol on the lotus feet of the Lord, if we meditate on that, Krishna will be pleased and he will give us a boon. Whatever boon we want, he will give. But what is the boon that devotees want? Devotees just want one thing. They want to attain Krishna's eternal service. Bas, nothing else they need. Therefore today when we are chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, when we are meditating on this lotus symbol of the lotus feet 
let's pray to krishna that oh krishna if you want to give me any boon i just want only one boon and that is i want your eternal service and as of now in this current service that i'm doing please help me to chant properly and hear attentively so with this mood let's begin our chanting hare krishna <laughs>